Hello, my name is Jarg, and welcome back to another exciting instalment of Jarg Teaches Java. Now, in the previous episode, what we did was we made a start on the actual plugin, which I want to display lists and to manage lists for each player in-game, for no reason other than just to demonstrate lists, and lists are used everywhere else, in lots of plugins. So we did this. So far, I've um, got my little to-do list here, and I've ticked off two of those items and those items are to create a new list and to remove a list. Now selecting a list is um, one of those things that I'm going to need in order to be able to do these two because these two don't actually specify a name of a list anywhere in here so how would it know which list to add a new item to or which one to remove something from? Well so select list is going to be needed for those then. Now it's also needed for this command. I split this one into two because it's two separate things we have to work on. In order to just use my lists view list you have to have selected a list because of course each player can have multiple lists. I've got one called test and one called bacon that is empty at the moment. All right. So what I want to do today is just to a very quick uh, update on this to fix this last item which requires a list name. It's like the earlier ones so it should be fairly simple. Mm, possibly. We shall see. Now it's the last of the ones that doesn't require selecting a list so I thought I'd do it separately. Now let's find where it is required in code. I've already got a space for it down here so remember there are two that require the view list. This one that has arguments length equals one means they haven't given us a, a list name on the command line. So it's got to be uh, through a, an existing selected list. So this is the one we want, the one above it, which is in with the new item, remove items one. Now, the type of code I'm going to need here is relatively straightforward. What do I need to do? Well, the first thing I need to do is, oh gosh, is not type that. The first thing I need to do is I need to determine whether the name they've asked for is actually a list, because they're going to use something like, um, they're going to use my lists, uh, and then they're going to use view list, and then they're going to name a list here. And if that is not a valid list, then I want to bring up an error message. Basically, if it is a valid list, I want to actually display it. So how do we determine whether that's actually a list or not? Well, actually, it's quite simple. We go to our config file, which is already open from the code at the top, and you can see there are lots of is's here. Is boolean, is double, is list. Sounds reasonable. So it returns true or false based on whether the item in the file is a list or not. This one counts as a list, even though it's empty, whereas something like uh, that would not count as a list. In order for this to be a list it would need to be like that as we saw before. So I'm just going to put this back as it was, there we go, and save it, there we are. So we're going to use is list to determine whether something is a list. Now what does it need in order to, to determine that? Well it needs a path of some sort. So the path is going to come from um, it's going to come from my lists, because that's what I called it, dot lists, because that's the subpath, and then I need the name of the list they're asking for. So that's all right, I can just put the dot there and do plus args1. Remember, arg0 is the actual command itself, the subcommand, so in our case, view list. So args1 has got to be the next one after that, the name of the list. So if that is a list, then I want to do something with it. You can also, if you want to be more specific, you can actually put equals true there to determine that, but it defaults to checking to see if something's true. So I'm just going to go with that for now. So if it's a list, I want to go ahead and display it. I'm going to put the else in as well, because if it isn't a list, I can just immediately bring up an error message of some sort. So um, it doesn't matter whether it's not a list. If it exists in the file, but it's not a list, then it's an error of some sort. So I'm just going to do player send message, and we'll just give them an error message up in the um, in the oh in the chat. So something like what you have no list called and then the name of that list would be there. That's what we want. Why not? That seems good enough for me. Uh, it's explicit enough so it knows, so the, the player knows what they've done wrong. Call that. I think that should be right. So we've dealt with if they get it wrong. So if it is a list, um, then what do we want to do? Well, I want to grab the list from that file. 
I want to display a heading that says lists blah and how many items in it and then I want to just loop through them. Fine, all of that should be fairly easy except for maybe the first one which may not be as obvious. Now it's an array list of strings. I'm going to call it list and I'm going to set it equal to something. Now unfortunately there's a little bit of a um, an issue really with this. Now we know that we can get data from the file using player oh, player list config and I can then do dot and then I can do get to actually get individual items but I can also use this one get string list and it will return a list of some sort but you can see from this it's not an actual array list even though we're going to use it like an array list it's just a list. Now since I've used array lists already I'm going to stick with it I'm just going to keep going though. So how do I, what is, what's the path it needs here? Well the path it needs here is this, the same path we used when we determined whether there was a list there or not. So there's the path. I'm going to finish the brackets. I think I've already done that. Yes. Finish the line with a semicolon at the end. Now if this string list actually gave us an array list, this line would be complete. Now because it doesn't give us an array list, I have to add an extra bit. Let me just pop it on the next line down to make it a bit re more readable. In order to actually convert a list, which is a generic type, into an array list, which is a specific type, you need to do what's called casting. Now, the way you cast something, which means to convert it from one type into the other, is before the item you want to convert, you just put the data type you want it to be in brackets before it, like this. So this says, whatever this gives us, which we know is a list item, or list rather, convert it into an array list of type string because that's what we want to store in here. So that's called casting. We'll see casting again in a later example. Now, having grabbed the actual list itself, I can then do whatever I want with it. I don't need to do any saving of files because I'm only reading the list, I'm not writing to it. So all I need to do is send the player some messages basically. So player, send message, and I'll display uh, a little heading message which says list and then the name of the list which I think we should be able to get from args1 I think and then I'll have um, in brackets I'll put how many items there are so I want a rather strange arrangement of, of strings here um, I want that how do we find out how long a list is well you can do list dot size and it tells you how big the there it is. tells you how big the list is. We used length on arguments. Remember we did if args.length is greater than or equal to something or equals 1. Length is used for arrays, which is a very different type of list. Size is used for all the other lists. So we can say, this will display list blah and then 10 items or however many there might be. Of course it will also say items even if there's one item but never mind I'll fix that in the next example perhaps. So there's my heading. Um, I might also be a bit funky with it. Let's be a bit funky with it and do chat color dot uh, blue. There we are that's how you do colors in the actual thing. Again I'll split this onto multiple lines um, so that it's easier to read. Oh there we go. So that's my heading. So I've got, uh, in blue, I've got all this lot. Uh, the colour only lasts for that one message, so it won't, the next one will be in the default colours again. You don't need to manually reset it. So now I just need to loop through the items that are in it. Now, if you loop through, something, through a list that's empty, it displays nothing, which is fair enough. So I'm not going to need to worry about, has the list got some items in it, and if so, display them. I'm just going to loop through them, if they exist, it will display them. If they don't, it won't. So the way this is working is I want to send the message to the player. Oh, that was the wrong code. Let's try that again. I want to send the message to the player. Um, and it's already picked the default value, S. Remember, this the way a for loop works is it, if this is a collection or a list, it grabs the first item, calls it S temporarily. We can then use it. And then it goes and grabs the next item, calls that S. Then we can use that and so on. So we don't need to worry about how many there are, we don't need to worry about what they are, we know that we want to send that to the, the player as a, as a list item, as a message. That's it, that's all I need I think for viewing of a list. I've already dealt with the error message being displayed if they typed something that wasn't a, a valid list. 
So let's see if that works. No guarantees, because I wrote the code, but um, hopefully that'll work. We'll see. Um, oh, I've just realised why this is a little bit laggy. It's because I've still got Minecraft open in the back there. That's all right. We can live with it. So there we are. Reloaded successfully. I see no errors of any sort. Let's get back in this game. And hopefully... Oh, it's always night when I join. Hopefully I should be able to do my lists, view list, and then give it a name. Test, for instance. And there they are. There's in blue the heading, and there's my two items that are in that list. Huzzah! Remember, I just hard-coded those directly into this thing here. There's the bacon list as well. Let's try displaying that. We will see the heading. There we are. Uh, Nought items, that's appropriate. If there were only one item, the S would be inappropriate. And it's listing the no items that are in there. So far, so good. So I'm happy with that so far. So in the next example, we are going to extend this a little bit further. We're going to do the two items that are very important to us, which are the select item, sorry, select list command, so that I can pick a list from the, a, a group, a set of them, and the new item I think I'll do as well, because that's useful to combine. So I can now tick this one, where is it? This one off as being done, and we'll pick this up next time. Thank you very much for watching.